Hey guys, Birdman 316 here again. Well, here's a couple you haven't seen before. You've seen the twin of that one over there. You'll see it in a minute. This is a stock, all stock. Well, except for the fat buttons. I've changed those to gold. I like them. They look good on his body. You get it very good. You can see it better. Okay. This is a stock Squire Affinity Telecaster. And this here is a stock Indio Retro Classic, which you can tell by the body shape is a Telecaster clone. We're going to do some checks. We're going to check this one against that one. They're both stock. This one here is going to be getting ready to be torn down. So with that, we're going to get some goodies to go in there. It's going to be better than the stock goodies. But let's, let's do some sound. Some sounders here. So we're on the neck. We're on this one right here right now. I'm just going to... I'm no Steve Ray Vaughan and no Jimi Hendrix. So don't expect anything. Don't expect Brad Paisley. You ain't going to get it here. I'm going to do the best I can. Have a little fun. Just to demonstrate some tonal differences in these two guitars here. Here we go. Start with this. <laughs> running through the Armoon Pock Rock, we are in the the most slappiest. You hear it? That is the fastest that can do as far as slapback. But I do have a daughter slapback pedal, which is really nice, a delay pedal. But this one right here will do for a day, and it's awesome for $35 on eBay. There we go. Okay, let's do some more. Let's just do some little lead time, lead stuff here and check this out. cricket caster, right? clean. 
scene with only a little bit of slap back and the echo, not the echo, but the, with the, the reverb in the amp. And what we're going to do now, I turn the volume, turn the volume down on the amp. And her around, okay, let me show you that. No strings through the body, just from here is a top loader only, let's see if you can see it. There we go. <clears throat> top loader only on this one. You can get the other one and get it hooked up. And try not to bump the chair and kill the finish, that wouldn't really suck. I want to wreck a new guitar like that, okay, let me get this close up there, check it out. Indio Retro Classic. And we all know, yeah, this one is a convertible bridge. Check this out. Look at the very bottom right there where the string, where the saddles are. It's got holes there, so if you wanted to make it a top loader, you can, no problem. But factory stock, it comes back through the back of the body. Now, I did add these knobs. These are not the stock knobs. And this thing lost two pounds when I changed the knobs on this thing. And that's pretty wild. Well, not that much weight, but still, you know, I'm just, I like to make fun of things. We like to make things funny, you know. Now, the volume and the tone on that one's wide open. Let's put this amp back to where it was with that one. Let's do a little. Okay, we're on the neck. Let's do some makeshift sort of chords, maybe. But... This one's more bluesy, more thick, swampy, if you will. You hear right here. It's got some more swamp to it, I'm telling you. in that one and the pickups in this one are ceramic magnets. Now a lot of people say, ooh, ceramic magnets, they suck. No, 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 not necessarily. They don't suck. It just depends on what tone that you want and what you want to do, how you want your guitar to sound. It's personal preference. I have a ceramic magnet humbucker I'll be putting in one of my guitars. That is awesome. Guitar fetish is called a crunchy path. Zebra, you know, black and cream. And you'll see it in the future. It's nice. Okay, let's do some of this right here, like this one, this one.
is, uh, that was going, this is going to wrap it up for this, um, what do you call this thing? Sound comparison? Now, both of these guitars are great. They are perfect, ideal platforms for modding. If you want to leave it stock, there's no problem. They're, they're nice, but this one sounds a little better than that one to me. I'm not sure about you guys, but to me, this one here sounds better than that one. And this one is cheaper than that one. This one's regular price, 100 bucks. That one, the Squire Shelly Affinity model is around, nowadays around $229, $230. And you get better sound, cheaper. And it's your money. Do what you wish. If you like a little cheaper model, sounding better, then hey. If you notice, this one, when you saw the back of that one, you saw a, that it did not have, see the neck plate gasket on this one, you can barely see it. I'm trying to hold it in an angle where you guys can see it really good. The Squire doesn't have it. I wish that Fender and Squire and, and the company would, it, probably a 25 cent part. It protects the paint job on the body. Seemed like it would anyway. But anyway guys, this is Birdman 316. Enough of my uh, noise making here and uh, jabber jawing and this that and the other. Well, one more thing. The neck on this one feels a little chunkier than the neck on this one. This is a telling style neck here with Fender and Squire. And this is a company by Fender. The Squire is. The neck on this one feels nice and chunky. This neck here, neck right here feels a little chunkier. I didn't know if you noticed or not. This neck has some nice flames on it. The way the wood looks, it looks like uh, someone burned it or something. But it's not. You know, it's just the way that the wood is. But anyway, I just had to add that. Well, guys, everyone have a wonderful day and wonderful night. This is Birdman 316. Rock on forever. Sayonara.